ho ho, and welcome once again to day four, Advent of Cyber here on Try Hack Me. We're going to do the one called, it's called Scanning Through the Snow. So I just went ahead and did the task, and now that I did it, I want to explain how you can do it, and what's up and what not about it. So let's just go down here and see the questions. So really the questions are as the following. What is the name of the HTTP server running on the remote host? What is the name of the service running on port 22? What's the flag? And what is the password for standard HR? Now, the very first thing you need to do is to go ahead and run a map scan on the particular IP address you're getting there. there. So let's go ahead and just press enter. Now, I wrote nmap tag s caps v, which is a version scan. So it's gonna try and enumerate uh, in nmap which kind of service is running on the particular port that you are scanning. Now, if you just write nmap like that, you're scanning the common most thousand ports that are used. That is not one to thousand, but it's just a common most. The very first question can be answered by the word Apache, and the second one, the port 22, can be answered by the service of SSH right there. Now, what you're gonna do next is go ahead and access the SMB share. SMB share can be accessed by typing SMB, as I talked about right there, in a folder. Now, I know they say in the address bar, and it's like, yeah, they show it's a picture, something like that. What you're gonna do is go ahead, and this is a little weird, but you're gonna press a folder, and it says like, open folder, and then anywhere, just there, press enter, and you're gonna get in. Here you see stuff like a folder called admins, I'm gonna access that, <clears throat> and since I already typed in correct password and username, you know, I can access the flag and the user list, which contains the answer for the questions down below. So really, this room was pretty easy. I can complete it by clicking the last one here. Too many room. Um, the idea is that you learn about what is port scanning. And port scanning can be learned uh, if you just go ahead and check out the different your commands right there. They're gonna talk about a SS, um, scan, which is a SYN scan, TCP SYN scan. A SYN scan is, the, I guess, one of the more faster ways to do a scan because you're only sending the SYN package with three-way handshake. Now, we're already getting a bit to the advanced part now, so I kind of uh, would say that if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and check out the different kind of rooms they mentioned right here on Nmap. Uh, network Mapper, Nmap. Nmap, live host scanning, the basic port scan, and advanced port scan. I'll take the very first one and just continue onwards until you've done all four different rooms and that should be really just it. So, <clears throat> if you did not do the tag S capitalized V, the scan would still guess which services would be on port 22 and port 80 because it would have a list in Nmap as the program you're using Nmap. But in order to know for sure which kind of version it is and is it really an Apache running on port 80? Because you could install, in theory, a SSH service running on port 80. That's a sneaky nerd way of doing it, but it is seen on some try hacking rooms that they do change the port. So, really, uh, make sure you do the tag S, capitalize V for versions. And I didn't use the tag S, capitalize S uh, scan because I kind of just went ahead and try to answer the questions. So once more, I want to say ho 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 ho.